Hello, and welcome back to my channel. I am Gigi of GigiMadeIt.com, also known as the iconic Orange Lady. Coming to you with another episode of... I'm never... Like, should I call it a podcast? Should I call it a vlog? I don't know. But I'm back. This week, I'm going to talk about... Nick collage because it is time for the make along and it is April which 10 years ago was the beginning of my storm so I plan on taking you guys through my journey taking you guys through the struggles of getting to where I am now um, I had someone we talked about this last week um, how comparing yourself to others can kill your confidence, right? So I want everybody to understand that I didn't take the elevator. You might have just found me, but I stay on the stairs. Translation, I work hard. So at any rate, y'all ready to hear what I got to say this week? You ready? Let's get it. So, I want to start off with Nick Collage, right? Because it is April, which means it's spring, which means it's time for the make-along. What'd you say, Gigi? It's always a knit-along. Not, not this time. It's a make-along because there is crochet included this time. And I absolutely love it. And I'm crocheting this time. So, you guys know, or you may not know if you're new here, I have been an affiliate for Nick Collage for like the last three or four years. What does that mean? I have my own affiliate code. If you utilize my code when you shop at Nick Collage, or in this case, if you participate in the Make Along and you utilize my link, which I will put in the down bar. I get paid a percentage of that. So, what I'm going to do is put pictures around me of the um, pat projects that were voted on. The cardigan from our own Vanessa, which is a combination of crochet and knitting the body is granny squares and the sleeves is knitting it's just i can't wait i can't wait i can't wait i can't wait and it is called give me two seconds corinne cardi i know i was gonna find it it's the corinne cardi if you haven't seen ah oh, it's moving i don't want you to move i want you to be still it's the corinne cardi so as you see it is granny squares as using the yarn as well as the um, 
the strips, the the mini bundles. What do, what's the name of these things? I'm terrible, guys. Oh, please. <laughs> this is called. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. Um, the wildflower yarn. Yeah, this is the wildflower yarn. And you usually get mini skeins. Um, of the different colors. But this is called the wildflower yarn. And this color is that I'm wearing now. Because you guys remember I made the, the cardigan with the, the tassels on the end. And I also made the hat that I'm wearing, the bucket hat. And what I have loved, love, 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 this color is tart orange that I'm wearing. This is tart orange and the Kareen Cardi is uh, granny squares that are made with the wildflower yarn as well as the bouquet, the, the boucle, I believe. I believe those are the two. And you have a combination of colors to make your granny squares. And I'm really, really excited. I'm so excited because I think you guys know that I started out crocheting. I learned as a kid. Um, and I'll be honest and tell you that I'm not a granny square fan. So that's one of the other things that I truly love about Nick Collage because it has pushed my boundaries. Um, made me try things that I normally avoid. So I'm looking forward to to this. I am, I am, I am. Following Nick Collage, then you know that the car opens up on Friday, which is the day that I'll be traveling. So Friday is the 8th, April 8th. The car opens up at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will put my link in the profile. I'm going to say this to you. Amy has already been talking about shipping issues. So if you have already looked at the options, because you know what the other thing I love about the make-alongs, the knit-alongs from Knit Collage, when you sign up, regardless to which one that you actually buy your kit for, you get all of the patterns as a part of the knit-along. And these patterns are normally exclusive to the make-along, and they're not released to the rest of the world for quite some time so it is worth it in that respect and quite a few people make multiple like last time for the fall I made the poncho as well as the loop it up cardi this time I'm only doing one because I'm still working on my um my khaki cardigan but I will if you're following me on social media Facebook Instagram I will put something up to remind you guys but 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time Friday April 8th is when the car opens so you can get the colors that you want the color combination and what I would suggest is going on there I believe there's a blog post up and if I I'm pretty sure there is I will put the link to the blog post in the information section and I need you guys to go and be prepared for whatever color combo you want so this way you're not stuck with what's left or you don't have to wait a long time to get your yarn because waiting for it to be shipped or whatever the case may be so again go early get what you want so just to um show you some of the things there's a, I, I, I almost I almost I almost went with this but because I'm already making a long cardigan I didn't know if I had another long cardigan in me but you guys know I love a hood. You know I love a good hood. I had my eyeballs. And I'm going to put pictures up here so you guys can see. But I had my eyeballs on this too. But it's, it's, it's brioche. And I got a mental block like nobody's business. I've done brioche before. I've had people that were kind enough to walk me through brioche. I want to say I have a hat or a cow or something that I did in brioche. But if I had to decide to do brioche, 
that would be a strong no. So, when I saw this, I was like, oh, cute. Nope. Brioche. I ain't doing it. Then you have this um, shawl that's included. It's called Meet the Numerology, I think. Um, so you have some really, and I love that there's a shawl in here this time because if you don't have a sweater in you, if you don't have the mental space to try to figure out how to do a sweater or whatever the case may be, it's nice to have something simple, something that you can Netflix and chill with. So I love that not all of the patterns are super complicated. And then there is a, I want to say there's like a blanket or something, but I'm going to, I have the pictures, I'm going to put the pictures up in here. So, if you are a repeater, you do it every year, you do the spring as well as the fall make along, I know you're excited, I know you've already looked at the options, you voted, and that's the thing I like too. She gives you some options with patterns and then we, the makers, vote on what we would like to make and what makes it as the main uh, patterns for the event. Now, she also offers bonus patterns. The difference between the main patterns and the bonus patterns is that if you opt to go with the bonus pattern, that doesn't have the step-by-step -step video tutorial with it, right? You don't get all of that with it if you take one of the bonus. But if you are making one of the main patterns, you get your step-by-step -step video that is yours to keep. You can take your time and go back and watch each step over and over until it makes sense. You know that they have the Zoom courses to everybody can kind of just say what they're making, show their colors they're choosing, and then you can request help and you can have a one-on-one -on -one Zoom. I'm, I'm telling you, Amy has cornered the whole make-along, knit-along world because it is so much more than the product. It's so much about the community. Like, you have yoga sessions. You have mindfulness. There's just... My link will be... You heard me right. My, my link. Support the GG Fund and utilize my link. So that is what I wanted to share um, and I'm going to put, right after this, I'll put some pictures of all the different options. I think I have them all. Yeah, I think I do. Let's talk about whip, work in progress. I am still working on my panels two at a time and they're coming along. Um, I honestly can say to you, I can't even imagine just doing one panel then going back to do the other. This thing would never ever get finished because it is one by one ribbon, miles and miles of it. However, <laughs> I have said this before and I will say it again. I am so very much in love with the piece of material that is being created with this project. So I know that I am going to be super happy with the outcome. I've even kind of sort of Stop stressing about the whole seeming thing. I think, you know, that part will be because my ends are pretty even. So it should be easy for me to uh, see the the ladders and, and, and get a nice, a decent seam going on this. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I still don't understand how people do multiple whips. And I can tell you that is why I did not opt to do more than one project with the knit collage because 
me working on more than one thing at the same time is just so not my jam. I know there are a lot of people that is your thing. You have multiple whips, bags full of things, and you pick up this. And I, I wouldn't even know what I'm supposed to do. Where's the pattern? What What was I doing? What was the stitch pattern? Is there a repeat? I don't. You know, I don't. I don't understand how any of that works, but. I wanted you guys to see that I am still plucking along. This is my listen to my book. I think I shared with you guys. I've been listening to um, the Wheel of Time series. I'm on book six now. I'm just, I'm twisting. And I think I have less than 10 hours left on book six. So I've been doing more um, listening to my book than I have been actually watching. Whew. Oh, please. I put the book down because... Did y'all watch Bridgerton? Baby, did, did you watch Bridgerton? Listen, I just said the word and and my... My, uh... My forehead starts sweating. Season 2. I thought I was upset because... When they said the Duke wasn't coming back. Like, I wasn't familiar with the books. People that, under, that have read the books were not shocked when they said the Duke wasn't coming back. I was like, the Duke ain't coming back. I'm not watching season two then. But baby, the who? The who, who wasn't? What was his name? Listen. Listen. I enjoyed it so much. I... Mm. I, I thought I was going to melt. I, I, it, it was... Whew. And I, I sat up eight hours, one, 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 one sitting and binged. It, I, Bridgerton, if you watched season one, I would love if you let me know in the comments what you thought about season two. Because I really personally thought I was going to be upset. But baby... Whew, that was good stuff. That was good stuff. So that's my update on what I'm working on. And what's what am I doing other than knitting. And like I said, for the most part, I haven't. I have so many shows that I would normally be watching. But I haven't been because I'm so engrossed in this book. But the good part of that is by the time I finish with the book, before I start the next one, a lot of my shows I could just binge because... They would have gone through a couple of episodes. Like, Shelby got me watching um, <clears throat> another one of my, speaking of books, another one of my favorite authors is Walter Mosley. And um, The Final Days of Ptolemy Gray is on Apple TV. I love Walter Mosley. Combine Walter Mosley with Samuel L. Jackson as the main character. I, I had to, I had to stop because I was getting ready to. Do, I, I'm binging. The people that created streaming was created for me because I I could do my addictive personality. I can sit and watch hours, but like just don't go to sleep. <laughs> so, um, that's that. That's what's in progress. I'm still working on. I still have a ways to go with these front two panels and. I'm still listening to my book. So let's um let's kind of go back a little bit. So it's April and this time of year I literally want to crawl under a rock cuz you have the anniversary of my father's death, you have my mother's birthday, then it's my father's birthday. Then it's Mother's Day. Then it's Father's Day. Then it's the anniversary of my mother and my bonus dad's death. So this time of year, I feel like I have to step lightly because I'm always walking on mind bombs. Like just something explodes in my face. And I'm not one to um, celebrate those or, or purposely go seek out looking for those dates it's just i'll be working and i'll write the date and i'm like why does this date seem familiar and it'll just like pow in my face so 
I said all that to say that this year marks 10 years, right? So 10 years ago, not only did I lose both my parents, but I lost my 22-year job at the same time, right? All within a span of like six to eight weeks. And it was hard for me. It was hard for me because that was the first time in my life. So I'm, I was 46, 45, going to be 46. First time in my life that I had been unemployed. Um, first time in my life I had to apply for unemployment and that whole process. I, my resume had more dust on it than I have no idea. So searching for a job was hard, very, very hard. Um, I didn't know what to do. Like, I am my mother's only child, my father's oldest. So all of the work, if you will, for the ending of their lives and funerals and insurance policy, all that stuff, all that stuff fell in my lap. So I went into get her done mode. Um, so I can't tell you when I actually took a breath to breathe. I just had to keep going. I was so afraid. Um, I felt like my foundation had crumbled. I wasn't sure what the future held. I applied for so many jobs and everybody wanted to interview me because everybody wanted all of my Verizon experience, but they did not want to pay me. The debt piled up. It was just a very scary time. And for me to now to look back, Gigi Made It has so much more meaning besides the things that I've actually made. You get that? I made it, right? Like so, I, it's been 10 years and this year, I really want to focus on looking back to see how far I've come. Looking back to see how um, I fought my way through. I knit my way through. Like, I held on to my yarn, and I basically knit myself a new life, right? I, Friday, I leave to go to Tulsa because the hot loops wall, the spring hot loops wall, is in my honor you know I never imagined any of that could happen like I saw things like that happening for other people but I never thought that could happen to me and because you let me tell it I wasn't a real knitter and you know I couldn't afford the fancy yarns and you know I only knit with big thick yarn because I got stuff done faster and all of those things like I've I plan on each week, you know, next week I'll be uh, taking you guys with me. So next week will be all about Tulsa and the hot wall. But each week this month, I am going to talk about how I arrived here. I know a lot of people um, find me now and they think, you know, well, where she come from? And, you know, what's the big deal with the orange? And, you know, she was an overnight success. No, I, I beg to differ. Right, It's been 10 years since my world fell apart, but I've been at this for a, a good solid 13 years. right? And believe it or not, what propelled me into everybody's face, where my major growth came, was when I started talking about my feelings behind something that was racially charged. Right, So um, it, come, getting here was not easy. Getting here was no elevator ride. This was work, right? This was shut up and knit, Gigi. Um, this was, you know, me sharing my experiences and being told, oh, they didn't know it was you, Gigi. Like having your experiences discounted because someone else didn't feel like that was why you were treated the way that you were treated. Like it has not been all sunshine and light, but I wouldn't change anything. Um, for me to be able to do what I love and be able to make money, right? I didn't even know that that was a thing. I didn't even know that I wanted that to be a thing. But I always said that my dream job would be to travel the world and go to these different events and bring it back to those that are not fortunate enough to be able to go 
themselves, right? So when I do go places and, you know, my, my board and my travel, all that stuff is cared for and I'm paid for being there. Like, I never thought that that could happen. And as proud as I get in myself, there's a part of me that gets a little melancholy because I wish my parents were here to see that I'm okay, right? Like, I kept going. Um, I don't even know that I had a choice to do anything other than keep going. But to find something that I love so much, and that being my knitting and my beloved orange, and turn that into a life for me, still is shocking to me, right? You know, I... I still am like, you know, I go places and people's like, oh my God, Gigi. And I'm like, I, I'm just regular, regular. Like, I'm happy to meet you. You know, I stop and I talk to everybody that wants to stop and talk to me. I don't, I'm not that person. I don't have a big head. I don't feel like I don't have time. Leave me alone. I am there because you guys put me there. You guys heard it right there's proof that she was coming her whole purpose was just to come in here to bother me so that's what that's going to be the uh the theme this month if you will to kind of talk about i may even get I, um have her sit down and we talk about uh the last 10 years the uh the gg made it journey if you will because she will tell you in a minute that she's yarn adjacent She's uh, well versed, but to get her to sit down and knit something because she knows how to, it ain't happening. She'll start and be excited, but that ain't her thing. So that's all I got for this week. Next week, I travel on Friday. Nicolaj starts on Friday. So if you are following me, other places I will put the reminders out there about Nick Collage and I'm probably going to send out an email list if you are not a part of my email list I'm going to put a link in the down bar as well for you guys to subscribe so you don't miss out on anything and I think that's it for this week as always thanks for watching thanks for commenting for liking and share tell a friend who you think might enjoy my content I appreciate it Everybody have a good week. Say it with me. On purpose. <laughs>